My name is Dylan Rose, uh, co-founder and CTO at Evergreen Systems. Uh, we provide best-in-class mining uh, with low energy. Uh, so again, this me right in the middle here, Dylan Rose, uh, CTO, Hardware IoT. Previously was at Amazon Ideas, and I uh, work with an amazing team of people, uh, including Grant Cermak, who's in the audience, who's the former CSO at Exodus Wallet. If you guys know Exodus, it's pretty pretty cool. So uh, yeah, like let's just kind of take a step back, right? Like, what did Satoshi think when he was like, let's let's do this whole mining thing, right? Like mining proof of work. That's kind of why we're all here. So what what was he really talking about? I mean. You know, we kind of talk about one CPU, one vote, and, and why this is important is because you want high node counts. You want it to be really accessible, uh, and you want it to be government resistant. So if you have a system that's running on a bunch of people's laptops, I mean, you know, good luck, U.S. government trying to shut down everyone running on laptops. Uh, and, and also, you know, let's get this new technology into the hands of people. Everyone's got a laptop. Okay, this is pretty awesome. Uh, one CPU, one vote. Um, but, you know, ASICs have kind of broken that, and, and now as we move into the era of natural gas, uh, home mining is becoming, uh, you know, more and more scarce if you're trying to do Bitcoin. So, you know, what does that look like today for the average person at home who's paying anywhere between 15 and 35 cents a kilowatt, and, and that's constantly increasing? So, you know, I kind of put it into, you know, two buckets. One is, is what I call kind of crypto-enabled services. So these are services where crypto is not necessarily required, but it's a really good medium for paying people. So, uh, you know, very simply, uh, shared compute, right? I have a CPU, I have a GPU, I have some storage. You can pay me in cryptocurrency to host your data or, or run your workload. Um, and that's kind of one half of, of the at-home miners. And then the other half uh, is Nakamoto consensus, right? So that's kind of the classic CPU mining, um, you know, something that's ASIC resistant. You know, GPU mining is, is kind of still in that category. But again, as energy increases, inc uh, increasingly getting priced out. And, and then you have uh, some novel consensus mechanisms uh, like proof of space and time that utilize uh, hard drives in a similar fashion to proof of work. Um, so let's go back to that, right? So sharing compute, getting paid in crypto. It's awesome because it's the utility is there. No one's going to dispute. We need computers, and you know, if you can rent your computer from someone to do a workload for a temporary period, that's awesome. If you can pay them in crypto, uh, even better because you can kind of support microtransactions and don't have to use, uh, you know, some some issues in the fiat system. Um, but they're often on shitty L1s. You know AWS L1s, which is which is kind of funny because it's like you're running shared compute on AWS. It doesn't really make sense, um, but still, you're making money. You're making money. You're running a system at home. You're earning crypto. That's goodness. Uh, and and you know, kind of proof of space and time. I call it the elephant in the room because uh, you know if you're familiar with you know a network uh, that kind of pioneered this uh, called Chia. You know they like to like make a, make a lot of noise around Bitcoin and and why proof of space and time is better. And so I kind of call it the elephant in the room. But uh, you know essentially it's kind of frozen proof of work. So you do all the work. You're, you're proving that you worked. You have to have a solution to a puzzle that. Uh, is attached to a block and, and you know the farmer signs that block. But instead of doing it all the time, every time, and constantly having to put more and more energy into it, you do it once up front with a high powered server and then it's frozen on your hard drive. So you have these hard drives and you really want to get as many hard drives as you can, but those hard drives don't take an incredible amount of space and the barrier to entry is very low. So so far, Chia has great, uh, you know, had great success. It's very secure, very distributed, very accessible over the first you know, six months they got up to uh, over uh, 30, 35 exabytes worth of storage, 10 times bigger than Filecoin, and, and 200,000 nodes. And yes, these are, these are real nodes, but it's still very early in the adoption cycle. Proof of work is, is well proven. It's, you know, gotten its way into large markets. Uh, and, and, you know, in, in proof of space and time and proof of space in general, what you're going to want to look at is helmet attacks. And so there are ways to use compute to break proof of space. And, and that's not desirable. And that, that breaks proof of space. So overall, right, low power is goodness. You got income from idle and over-provisioned CPU. You can earn money from computers without increasing your energy bill and get paid in the asset of your choice. That's something that Evergreen really wants to bring to enterprises and customers alike, is the ability to earn off of computers that you can go and buy at Best Buy or on Amazon. 
Um, so Evergreen, we make it easy for everyone to get paid to run a node. So if you want to run a Bitcoin node, awesome. You should get paid, stick a hard drive on that thing, and you can get paid to run a Bitcoin node. Uh, you can easily custody uh, and swap assets when you're running a node at home, and you're always connecting to peers. And so it, it starts to take place into the system that, you know, we look back at Satoshi and really, you know, this is what he was envisioning. And so this is our device. We've got our nice booth over there. You can come take a look tomorrow. Uh, and, and, you know, this is the device that we're starting with. So you plug this thing in, and it mines proof of space and time on hard drives. And it, again, it's very similar to proof of work. It is a Nakamoto consensus. So you are earning to secure the network, but you are paying a fraction of the cost for energy and so you know the average user is going to buy say a thousand dollars worth they're going to stack it up and they're spending like 50 watts worth of energy which is which is nothing i mean that is pennies per day and and so you are profitable even though chia has experienced a very large decline in price uh, we have a mobile app, again, to help you manage your device. It's completely non-custodial. You manage your device. Uh, you can yield farm. You can swap assets. And we intend to support games uh, and, and other chains. So we've already helped enterprises deploy over 10 petabytes uh, on over 400 individual devices. Um, you know, would love to talk more about the future of low energy mining over at our booth. So please feel free uh, to come by tomorrow or, or you know, ping me after this chat and we can talk about uh, low energy mining. Thanks for, every, uh, for everyone who came out today and uh, appreciate the time. Cool, any, any questions? Yeah. Sorry, the last part, they're connected to the drives. The, the device you had in the, oh wow, this microphone's really amplified. Um, in the previous slide, it was uh, the, it, that, it's the node that connects to the hard drives essentially. Yep, so there's uh, in like the starter pack, you're gonna get like a computer with a node and then you're gonna get a hard drive and then you can continue to add hard drives and you only ever need that one node that's on that computer. Well, so the node's plotting the hard drives? So. We do pre-plotting. So, you know, again, with, with Chia, it still is proof of work based. So you need to have a high powered computer. We don't ask our customers to get that equipment. We get that equipment. We collect uh, their information in a secure way. We create the plots and the hard drive specifically for each of our users. And then they don't have to spend that uh, energy or, or cost on server equipment. So, and do you guys sell the plots included with the device? Is that how you? Yeah, generally we sell what called pre-plotted drives. Okay. So. Cool. But yeah, we also sell plots. Yeah, I, I have a, a well, I, I've been farming Chia uh, along with Bitcoin, Ethereum. So I, but I, I did the high powered side of things, so. Yeah, and I mean, that was how most people did it in the first cycle, but we're taking a bet that not everyone's gonna wanna buy like a couple thousand dollars worth of server equipment. Yeah, yeah, and you're like shredding a bunch of, well, we, we didn't damage any SSDs, but it's a. It's a lot of, it's a lot of money to, to try and, you know, plot and get that system going. Yeah. So it's a interesting, it, and so that's all included in that, that price. All included. Yeah. You get your plots. If you want to expand, it's one click. Yeah. That's kind of our MO is just one click earning crypto. Cool. That explains my question. All right. Awesome. Thank you guys so much.